Yes, sir. Somebody, we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Sarah. Move your hands, babe. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts. Babe. You're gonna be okay, baby, stay with me. All right, I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby, I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Sarah. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. It's really interesting in The Last of Us because um, the cutscenes, the cinematic cutscenes, all add up to about an hour and a half's worth of actual footage, which replicates that of a Hollywood movie. This is because the cinematic devices used are very conventional of Hollywood cinema. And what that does is that immerses the gamer into the story more successfully and it bridges the borderline between actually playing the game and experiencing the cinematic pleasure of the story. We was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like a sneeze yes every day. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. We really ruined this guy's day. Do it. Nice of you to drop in. And just in time. From uh, the character's perspective in a video game, through the gameplay, we build the character up, but from the narrative storytelling, uh, through the cinematic experience, we understand more of the character and have a deeper relationship with the character because we grow throughout the game understanding who the character is through the cinematic experience and grow to appreciate the character more And because we don't want anything bad to go wrong with our own character. We want because um, through the gameplay we build up our own character, then, he's, then we view what we built up from the character in the cinematic experience. Like we are unlocking each story path from the gameplay. When we're playing a game, obviously you're engaging with the story itself, but the interactivity level of computer games is incredibly high because the player is dictating really where the, the game goes. You move around, especially with free roaming games like GTA, and you know, sort of things like that. Like interacting with game video games is considerably higher than it is with the like film, for example, because you are yourself are doing it, you are the protagonist in, uh, in most scenarios. And then also cutscenes, they help uh, the player engage more with the game and understand the game more. So, this little man is Drake. Mm. Did you carry him all the way from the temple? Shame. Uh, within movies, do you feel uh, a certain amount of attachment due to the realism? You feel attached towards the movie due to like, the cinematography and you, you feel connected to the characters. Video games have uh, improved upon this medium and now uh, show the same quality feel of a movie when you're playing a game. This is used but only through cinematographic. Well, cinema, yeah, cinematographic. Top the cutscenes. Um, a very good example of this is GTA V. Uh, it's set in like a fictional world of Los Santos, which is a real representation of Los Angeles. Uh, and it's Los Angeles is a very, cine, you know, like, very cinematic city. It is used in very, very many films, and it is used to portray this kind of attachment. And GTA V encompasses this sense of realism particularly well. I think you need a new therapist.